oftentimes in mathematics, we want to graph the solutions of an equation so that we get a visualization of the ordered pairs that make the equation true, that we wouldn't be able to conceptualize if we just looked at the equation. So what we're going to do in this segment is to look at how to graph a linear equation. Now the first thing I want to try to do is to also look at the equation and see what it is that would tell me just by looking at the equation that its graph would be a line. Now when you're looking at the equation and you've gotten rid of your fractions and your parentheses and you look at each term, you have the term, first term which is 2x, the second term which is negative 3y, and then on the other side of the equal sign your term 12. Within a term, if you look at the number of variable factors you would have if you wrote it without exponents, that is the name that's called the degree of the term, if we're talking about equations that have exponents that are whole numbers. So here, when we're looking at our first term, this first term has just the x letter to the first power, so it's a degree one term. The next term is also degree one, and then on the right side of the equal sign, there is no variable factor in that term, so that's degree zero. So this whole equation is a degree one equation. The degree of the equation is the same as the highest degree term. And it has two variables in it. And when we have a degree one equation and two variables, its graph is a line. And that's very helpful to know. Because once we know that the graph is aligned, I just know that I need to generate two ordered pairs that make this equation true, and then graph them, and since two points determine a line, I can then use a straight edge to connect those two dots that I've graphed, and that will give me the graph of all the ordered pairs that make that equation true. So one of the ways to do this is to actually just make a chart that will keep track of the ordered pairs that you get, and we call it an xy chart. We have a column for the x coordinates and a column for the y coordinate. And we are going to pick a value for either our x or our y, whichever one we choose to do. We'll record the number that we pick for our variable and then plug it through and use the equation in order to generate the other coordinates value based on that choice. So for this example, let's say that I pick an x value of 0. Totally a freedom of choice pick for x, and I want to record that I am plugging 0 in for the x, so I put it underneath the x column in my chart. Now I'm going to go to the equation and do what I've decided to do. So I'll take my equation, and I have 2 times, take out the x, and put in the 0 that we are plugging in for that variable, minus 3y is equal to 12. Okay. Now once we have that, we have an equation that just has one variable in it. So we can use our equation solving skills that we learned earlier in order to find what the other coordinates value is based on that choice. Well if I were solving this using the equation solving skills that I've already learned, First, I would carry out this multiplication. 2 times 0 is 0, so I have 0 minus 3y is equal to 12. Well, 0 subtract 3y is a negative 3y is equal to 12. And then we want to solve for y, so we've got all the y terms on one side, all the not y terms on the other side. We will divide both sides by the coefficient of y, we'll divide both sides by negative 3, and we'll get that y is equal to negative 4. So when we picked 0 for our x, we got a y value out of negative 4. So there is an ordered pair solution of that original equation. Let's go ahead and plot that point first, and then we'll come over and get our second ordered pair and plot our second dot. So to plot 0, negative 4, we start at the origin. Our x coordinate is 0, so I don't go um, left to right at all. And then my y coordinate is negative 4. So from the origin, I don't go left to right, but then I go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And here's my graph of the coordinates 0, comma, negative 4. 
Now we want to pick another value and plug it in either for the x or the y, record it, and do the same thing. So let's pick for this one an x value of 3. And again, we're just picking a value for one of the variables, and then we will run it through. Well, if x is 3, I'm going to come over to the other side and find out the value for y for that choice. We have our original equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. We're now choosing an x value of 3, so we have 2 times take out the x and put in 3 this time, minus 3y is equal to 12. And then use our equation solving skills to find out what the y value is here. So we'll multiply our 2 times our 3, we get 6 minus 3y is equal to 12. Then I want all the y terms on one side, which I have. All the not y terms, the 6, I need to move to the other side. So we'll subtract 6 from both sides and get negative 3y is equal to 6. And finally, divide both sides by negative 3. We get y is equal to negative 2. So when we chose a 3 for our x value, our y came out negative 2. So let's draw or plot that um, coordinate and get its graph. So I start at the origin. My x coordinate of positive 3 tells me to go right 3. And then my y coordinate of negative 2 tells me to go down 2. And then I will draw my dot. So here is the graph of the ordered pair. 3 comma negative 2. So then to graph my line, since I know it is a line, I can just take those two points, get a straight edge, line it up where those two points are, and draw the graph of all the ordered pairs that make that equation true. So here is the graph of my line. 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. Now it's important to note that what you've done here was to graph all the ordered pairs that would make this equation true if you took out the x-coordinate of the ordered pair and put it in for the x-variable and took out the y-coordinate of the ordered pair and put it in for the y-variable and simplified the sides, the left side would come out to be the same as the right side. In fact, we can visually look at other points that our graph has crossed grid marks at, get the coordinates of that point, and just make sure that those ordered pairs do satisfy the equation. So it's just a, a demonstration of what this graph actually is telling us. So if you look at this line in the graph, it looks like the line crosses the x-axis right at that point. Now let's give directions from the origin to that point. So if we start at the origin and I wanted to get somebody to the point that we just drew, I would tell them to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and none up or down. So the coordinates of this dot are 6, 0. It shows that my graph goes through there. So that means that that ordered pair should make our equation that we graphed true. So let's see. Does the ordered pair 6, 0 make the equation 2x minus 3y equal 12 true? Well, to test that, what you do is, because you're checking a full ordered pair to see if it makes the equation true, we're going to take out the x and put in the x coordinate of the ordered pair we're checking, and take out the y and put in the y coordinate of the ordered pair we're checking. So we have 2 times take out the x and put in 6, minus 3 times take out the y and put in 0. Does that come out to be 12? 2 times 6 is 12, minus 3 times 0 is 0. Does that come out to be 12? 
Well, 12 minus 0 is 12. 12 equals 12. Yes, when I plug those ordered pairs into that equation, that ordered pair, the coordinates, into that equation, it does make that equation true. So we would say 